Hey guys, this is a vid on how to get rid of a very invasive program that can cause your computer to slow down substantially. It drives me batty, I can't deal with it. And it's called Search Conduit. And I say it's invasive because you cannot just uninstall this program. But you do need to. You need to go into your Add Remove and find it under Conduit or Search Conduit and get rid of it. The second thing you need to do is you need to go into your drive. On my computer it's a my C drive and I go into my program files and in mine it's in the 86 file and I go in and I found it in there and I got rid of it in there and it was still in several places on my computer and it kept coming back and I didn't know why. So I had to do a search and find out how to fix this. Look at this. This is just insane that it's even there. So what you do is you run your add-ons. Um, you get to your add-ons by going through here. Manage your add-ons. You click on this little tool symbol beside the star and open up your add-ons and you find it in here. And you disable it and you get rid of it. You're still not done. No, you're still not done. It's very invasive. Search providers. It's got to be in here somewhere. There we go. How sneaky is this? See, it's under another name. It's under trustworthy. It is not trustworthy. And it is also not staying on my computer. Um, yeah, this is getting removed. Remove. Get it off. Um, I don't even know how it got enabled because I didn't give it permission to. Now, look at this. It's disable suggestions. Disabled. Okay. And now that it's disabled, I can go through this whole process of looking for trustworthy web search under all of my things again. So, give me a minute and I'll let you know what the result was. Okay, the good news is it wasn't is embedded. Now, this is the third name. I have seen this exact program on. It's all Search Conduit. I've seen it under Conduit, Search Conduit, and now Trustworthy. In my computer, in several places. So, now that that's done, we're going to move on and I'm going to show you how to disable it in the other places it's in because this is not even close to how many times it's in your system. Here we are again. It was in another place. It was this time under Internet Options. It's the same tab. You click here and you go to Internet Options and you see this? That's where it is and that sucker is out of there. And then I just hit in Google because that's my preference. Done. No, you see that? That is what it does. Isn't it sneaky? Now that could be possibly be the way I did it. Um, I'm going to hit use default. Anything's better than that. I don't want to see that on my computer again. Now I'm going to click apply and then we're going to go through other ones. Okay, that says we have it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and see if there's a Bing toolbar and I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to reboot and I'll be back in just a GIF here. Okay, you see the magic happening? The Bing toolbar was gone. The search conduit is associated with Bing. That's right. My brother-in-law he had this issue on his computer 
and it slowed him down so much that he was having trouble doing anything on his computer and he brought it in to my mom and I had to pull it out in five places on his computer. I'm not even kidding. That to me is an invasive program. The problem is it doesn't just go into one of your browsers. When you've removed it from your add remove programs and your program files, you then have to go in to your Google Chrome or your Firefox or whatever and you have to do this in multiple browsers. If that is not an invasive program, I don't know what is. So that's the best advice I can give you is really try and get rid of as many toolbars as you can. Um, you're stuck with Search Conduit if you're doing Swagbox. If you're doing Swagbox, don't even bother taking it out because that's what they use. And it is considered a normal software, but it I've never had anything bog my computer down as much. And it went into all three browsers because I always like to have a backup browser in case one fails. And then a backup to that. Because <laughs> I'm a little OCD. So that's that. Don't fall for these stupid ads. And I hope you have a great day and I hope that it will speed up your computer a little bit and help you get rid of that if you're looking to get rid of that.